Anyone who loves French nails knows how difficult it can be if you're doing it with sculpting. But you know there's a really fast way you can do it? Just a stamper and some polish. I'm going to investigate to see if this French hack works or not and what to watch out for. Let's get started. So that quick way is you can simply paint your gel polish or nail polish on your stamper and stick it on. But it's actually kind of messy. I'm going to use second skin. It's easy to apply and easy to peel off. And I painted it around each one of the nails because it gets on the underside. It's like almost like a dip. Using the stamper is not as accurate as I like a nice strong smile line, but I'll show you. It's actually really quick. I got several different shapes here. I got a short square. I got a soft round. I've got a little bit more of a pointy stiletto, like a kitten stiletto, and a medium stiletto. Doesn't work as well on a medium to long, and I'll show you why it doesn't work. If you're gonna use gel polish, I highly recommend you use second skin to stop the product contacting the skin. Too much gel on the skin, you can develop an allergy, okay? So you wanna be careful of that. So let's use nail polish to start off, and I'll show you right away. It's actually really quick, it's really cool. If you're in a hurry and you wanna get a French on there, it's a great way to do it. Okay, so paint your jelly pad with nail polish. And then you simply take your finger and you just press it in to the jelly pad and it literally Frenches it for you. And it's a perfect French line, look at that. Isn't that great? But look at the underside. This is what I mean about really messy. If you're doing that with gel polish over and over, you just kind of don't want to do that. And with nail polish, it's a mess. <laughs> so I'm going to peel that off, but it works. Now, normally if I paint it on, it looks a little bit more like this, just showing you the difference in the look, because there is an aesthetic look that's a little bit different. I like a deeper smile line, so I'm going to pick a point that's sort of the middle. And then when I say deeper, I like the points to go quite a bit up the side. So when you're using the stamping method, you don't have as much control to make it custom. When you hand paint it, you have more control over your design. So I just turn this over so I can make sure my points are even. So you can see that takes a little longer, but it's pretty quick. Okay, so that's a little bit more work as you can see and you got to hand paint. Okay, so let's go back to the stamper. We can do gel this time, I can show you gel. And I'm gonna do it a little bit deeper smile. I'm gonna use this round finger, it's kind of on the shorter side. I'm going to put it in a little bit more of an angle and see if that works a bit better. Oh, I can go deeper. Let's go deeper so we get a deeper smile line. There, that's a bit better. That's not bad, that looks good. Cute, but you can see this one's a little bit more straight across and this one's a little bit more of an angle. Now what I really wanted to show you is a longer finger. It doesn't work so well if you have a longer finger. This really just works well for shorter nails. So I'll paint some on, some of the gel on there. And I'm also afraid I'm gonna break my jelly stamper part. So here's it gonna go in. And I'm gonna try to do it so it's not gonna break the seal on my thing, because I don't really wanna break it. But that's a you know pointy nail. Even a square can do it. But you can see if I do it a little bit, it's perfect. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's paint the thing again. But naturally, if I did this, I want the French to go all the way up to the sides here. And this, it's not so effective on a longer fingernail. And if you do pull back on it, pull back quite a bit slower. So hopefully you can relieve the paint all the way. Oh, that worked much, much better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think the trick is, I've done it before where it doesn't work well at all. Go slow. I'm gonna try it now and we'll go a little bit faster. So when you 
pull back, pull back slower, and that will release the paint on there. So when you go too fast, you can see that when you pull back a little bit quicker, it doesn't work so well. Make sure when you pull back, you pull back slow so you release the paint onto the fingernail. Look at that, I even did it in a patchwork and it, and it kind of worked. It's not very smiley and you're gonna lose that the more you squish it onto it. But let's try it with nail polish, see if it works. tip works really well. Now release slowly so it actually deposits it and it missed the very, very end. But let's see if we can, yeah, you can do it, but you can see the line a bit. But again, look how messy it is, right? E crime scene. Yeah, it does leave it pretty messy. So you gotta be really careful. Oh, and I got one more finger left. What should we do it in, gel or polish? Let's try the polish one more time. And see, I did break my stamper a little bit. See that? The tip did that. If you're doing long pointy nails, anything with a point to it, um, yeah, even if it was a really long, softer cornered, like a round, it might do it too because you're just pushing it in so far. But a pointy one definitely wants to break it. So yeah, I did break it a little bit there which you can use around because stampings are so small, but bummer. We're just going to do a little tip on the thumb and I want to go with smiley line as I possibly can because I do like a strong smile. And release slowly so that the polish does deposit onto the finger. That's a nice one. See how nice and curved that is? I really like that strong curve. And you can see how messy that is underneath. Now with nail polish, it won't bother you so much, but if you're using gel polish, make sure you put the second skin or something to protect your finger on there. Wow, so that is a very, very fast way to do it. Oops, I didn't nuke it. That's why that kind of gunked, must have hit it. So I'll remove them all, clean them up, do them again, so they're all the same with the nail polish and check out the reveal pictures. What a fast way to get the beautiful French look, not to mention so easy. So adorable and so fast. Now, I wasn't filming it because I was just freshing them up, but when I put it on the big one here, I rocked it back and forth a little bit to try to get a bit of a deeper side and it worked pretty good. I love it. French is coming back. Check out my French polish techniques, a video I did a little while ago. It's so good, check it out.